We gather today to honor the life and legacy of Orlando Cepeda, a beloved friend, teammate, and true icon of the game. His family, I just want to say I love you guys. You've always made me feel like part of the family, which uh, I've seen Orlando Jr. when he was like three years old. And uh, he was running up and down the stairs, distracting me in center field. And now here he is, uh, uh, grown. All his brothers and sisters, I've known all of them since they were this high. Um, I'm Uncle Dusty to them, but they are family to me. And I just love the fact that you invited me here today to speak about Orlando. Landon Roop, the right-hander, trying to shut down the Padres, but the Padres got something else in mind. They're going for the sweep. Two-pitch mix, although he throws other pitches pretty heavy on the first two, especially the curveball. And when he's on his game, he gets some grounders. To center, and Yastrzemski is there waiting. So they finally get a rise out. Took nine pitches. Now he's swinging, and he drives one to center. Yaz is there waiting for it, and he's got this one. The Yaz perfectly placed, it seems. Left fielder Ramos, Yaz in center, and Carnacion in right. And a fly ball to left. Over to his right, Ramos. He's got it. Three fly ball outs in the first inning. On the mound today, Martin Perez. Welcome back, left-hander. To third, another chance here for Solano. Backed up on it. Throw gets there for the first out. He's a corners guy. First, third, making the play. Backed up on that big hop. Big first out. Right back at him. And on the backhand, Cronenworth gets it there in time. Nice play by Jay. Ended up right behind the bag. Wind is a whipping in that infield, too. Two down. And then he uses the arm there accurately to get him. In the air, left side. Bogart to the short lawn and left. Backpedaling will make the catch. It's a one, two, three first for Martin Perez. Machado with a couple hits last night, going two for five, two RBIs in the game last night. Swings to the one, two, and a pop up. Foul ground. Back comes Casale to make the catch. Here's the two and one pitch. Ground ball to second. That comes up, played cleanly by Walton, and he throws him out at first. And a breaking ball, and a pop up, and yes, yeah, calling everybody off. And uh, the infielder saying thank you very much. A scoreless game in the top of the third. Cronenworth pulls this one into right field, base hit. Well, he got the curve, it was up a little bit, and he didn't hit it all that hard, but Jake Cronenworth has the first hit of the game for the Padres. Roop's 1 1 pitch. Hit a little soft liner. This one into left field for a base hit. So Peralta just kind of dunks one in. That's back to back. Very similar looking soft line drives. 2 1 pitch. Ground ball to short. Wisely has it to second one. And Walton to first. Got him double play. To the plate. And that one misses down and in with a curve. Ball four. He didn't. Lana Roop just didn't look like he wanted anything to do with the rise. So Rise, who the walks are not a frequent occurrence for him. But in that spot, it wasn't an intentional walk, but it, it almost felt that way. He does. And a swing. And a miss. And that'll end the inning. Who two pitch. And a swing and a miss. That was not a real good at bat for Brett Wisely. Our team Perez made him look bad for a strikeout of the day. Back to back curveballs. Bad hack on the previous one, so why not go back to it? That one caught a lot of the plate as well. He is doing the catching today. Fly ball left field. Profar sunglasses on, drifting to the edge of the warning track for out number two. Through the right side, no! Laying it out is Cronenworth. You can hit it anywhere, but you cannot hit it to the ground zone. Jake Cronenworth laying it out to make the grab. And a one, two, three, third for Perez. Thanks to his second baseman, Jacob Cronenworth. But he's been pitching very well, including in this game where he's retired all nine hitters that he's faced. Not anymore. Line drive, left center field, base hit. Hustling over into a slide to cut it off his pro far. And he pops up, wheels around, and throws back in towards second. So that is going to force Canna to stop at first. He took a big, wide turn, Canna did. One-two pitch. Ramos hits a little pop-up behind first. It'll be a rise going back to catch it. Here's the pitch. Chapman drives that one on a line to center field. Here comes Merrill, though, to make the catch on the move. Two down. Yeah, he's a lefty. Don't worry, he'll figure it out. It's rough when you got a mitt that's the size of your head or bigger. 3 1 pitch, and Carnacion hits a little squibber to the right side. Cronenworth has it and throws him out. And he just missed off the outside edge. That's ball four. Second walk handed out by Roop. 
on the ground to first corralled by Canna he'll tag the bag at first for the shore out current ball struck him out swinging and that one came in and dipped into the dirt very high ball four but Yaz gets a leadoff walk and here comes Luciano and a changeup strikes out Luciano pops it up left side it's Solano takes the catch with his feet firmly on the dirt of the infield two down to third and a good pick by Solano tough hop and he fires across for the out that will end the inning Giants nothing Padres nothing sixth inning to left and that's going to drop in for a base hit in front of Ramos arise with a single second time he's been on on the ground to first base and it eats up Canna He'll have no play anywhere. Some reason Bivens, the pitcher, didn't go to cover after the misplay there by Canna. They may have had a chance. Not a spectator out near the hill. So far, dropping down the bunt here. And the sacrifice is complete. Nicely done. Chance here for Machado to plate the first run of this game. Fly ball, right center field. Yastrzemski moving over. He will make the catch, tagging at third, and jogging home as a rise with the game's first run. Padres take a 1 0 lead. Sack fly for Manny Machado. Perez has been good, and Donovan Walton is going to lead things off. And Walton, it's out. Triples alley. On the move is Peralta. Still on a move. He's not going to get it. And guess what, folks? It is out of here. Donovan Walton muscled up. And that was out toward the deep part of the ballpark, too. The Giants with their first run after having been shut out for 32 innings in a row. Popped up. Back at third. Solana going over. So is Bogarts. Bogarts will make the play. Nice. That's the play. That is the play. And that's ball four, a one out walk for Luciano. It's just the second walk of the day allowed by Padres pitching. And a swing and a miss. He goes chasing, strikes out. Fastball, 97, two down. Hey, that's a nice bounce back after the walk to Luciano. Runner takes off, and he will be out at second base. So Luciano trying to get into scoring position is gunned down. Cronenworth covers and caught stealing two to four to end the seventh inning. And Fernando Tatis is hitting here in a 1 1 game eighth inning fly ball deep left field off the bat of Fernando Tatis Jr. That is gone pinch hit home run puts the Padres on top two to one welcome to the game Fernando that's a game changer it's 2 one Padres it's the bottom of the ninth inning Padres two Giants one Elliot Ramos standing in. And now we want to find out if that went into the water. Because if it did, there's never been a right-handed hitter that has done it since this ballpark opened its doors in 2000. I mean, aside from tying up the score here in the bottom of the ninth inning, there's some history involved with this swing of the bat. Pitch misses outside to Peralta. Cronenworth standing at second. On the ground and into left field, a base hit. Here comes Cronenworth around, and the Padres will take a 3-2 lead. RBI single for David Peralta. It's a ground ball to third. Coming home and the throw. Not going to be in time. Throw to first to get the out there. Padres take a two run lead in the 10th. 2 2. Conforto drives one to left field. Going back on it. All the way to the wall and reaching up is Lockridge to make the catch. Tagging from third, Yastrzemski. He'll score. Michael Conforto comes up just a little bit short. Ground ball headed to third. Solano slings it across. Padres win, and they sweep the Giants in a three-game series. This one takes bonus baseball today, but the Padres get it done and hold on as they win four to three in ten innings.